In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a add-on module onto your PHP Nuke. Uh, you need to search for a module that you want to upload onto PHP Nuke. Uh, download it and unzip the file onto your hard drive. Once you got the module unzipped, uh, you need to find it. In my case, I have it in my unzipped folder. And the one I'm going to do is an HTML newsletter that I have downloaded it already. No, I think it is this one. And the folder that we need to upload is the HTML folder. But we don't load the HTML folder as it is. We un upload the fo uh, content that is in, up in the folder. So when you click on HTML, you'll see blocks, images, modules, and the installer on there. Uh, connect onto your server. And in my case, I'm going to put it on my PHP Nuke blog. Once you're connected onto the server, you'll see some folders that are on your server. Uh, the one we'll be installing it in would be in public HTML folder. So click on the folder, not the name, the folder itself. And you'll see the corresponding folders in here. Uh, in this case we don't have abuse folder on there and the rest of them but we do have blocks, images, modules and these two. So what you got to do is highlight all this and transfer it onto click on the blue arrow and that will transfer everything that's in those folders onto your hard drive or uh, onto the server and it tells me that I've got files already on there but I'm going to overwrite every, all of them once you logged in as admin you come to a screen similar to what you see on my in this video and after the your d domain name you need to type in the file name the install file name that we uploaded and that is m s h n l i s t p h p when you do that it will come to a install screen uh, similar to this one and as as we are installing first time so you'll be choosing this option but if you were upgrading then you would be using either of, of those two options or you can delete it altogether out of the all the tables what this, this script does is it installs all your tables necessary for your newsletter to work and you just click on commit And once you see that all the tables are created successfully, and it says on there that you must remove the script and the MS installer directory from your server. To do that, you have to log into your cPanel again. Log 
log into your cPanel. And when you are in your cPanel, you go into your file manager. And then publication mail folder. And you'll see that install of install directory there that we don't need anymore because we already installed them. Uh, you delete that one. And the other one you need to delete is your script. And you delete that file. You don't need to leave those files in there because then someone else can be able to install and mess around with your programs. So once you've done that, you can thresh those two and come out of cPanel. Come back to your PHP Nuke again. And that's what I was at. And you sh still should be in as administration. So you just click on administration here. And we should be able to see the newsletter that we just installed. And click on it and see if it's installed properly. And it is. Uh, this is where you have, as admin, you can set up all your preferences, uh, main configuration of your newsletter. You choose whatever you want. That that will configure your newsletter to what you want to do, and then save it. And then you have category configuration, main newsletter, maintain your newsletter and all that. I'm not going to go into all that because this video will be too long then. But to create a newsletter, you'll be just creating a newsletter from here. You put your topic in, the sender's name, the category you assigned to, and then put your newsletter here. And you can use any of the templates that you want down here, or you can make one up and put it in a template folder and it will show up here. And you can include your site states uh, and whatever you want, download items or web links. And you can preview the newsletter first before you mail it. I hope this video has helped you have uh, to upload and add-on module. Thank you.